my channel. So first off, I just wanted to start off by saying I am so excited to be back in front of the camera and back filming with you guys. Um, if you guys do follow me on Instagram, you will notice that I was on vacation and uh, which was like a, a much, much needed vacation. Like it's so nice to get away, to relax, to like just recoup and take some time for yourself. I was on vacation, I was down in Florida and I had a blast. Before we get started, um, if you are not already following me on my other social media platforms, please feel free to follow me on there. Um, I'm really into like Insta stories now. Like I, I started using it in the beginning and then kind of segued away from it, but I kind of like it. I think I like it more than Snapchat because it's all right there. Um, so feel free to follow me on Instagram. That's really where I'm most active. Um, you can follow me on Facebook and then of course you can follow me on Snapchat as well um, everything will be linked down below but yeah as you can see i'm like still in vacation mode i still feel beachy and tropical and um i want to go back <laughs> i was packing all my items for our vacation i thought to myself i was like wow i should really do a like traveling makeup how to travel with your makeup style video um i have traveled a bunch for work and so i I feel like I've kind of mastered the things that you should bring with you um, whenever you are traveling. If you're interested in seeing what makeup items I bring with me whenever I do travel, then keep on watching. All right, so first off, I wanted to start off by saying that I have three bags that I bring with me whenever I travel. So this bag right here, this little pouch I got from Sephora, and this just holds like all of my brushes. And then in here, we're going to have like the bulk of my makeup. This clear bag, I think I got this at Ulta or it might be Target. Um, I'm not quite sure, but it's just like a clear, like plasticky bag. Um, for those of you that do or do not travel, um, you know, your liquids and stuff have to be in a clear like bag. So either like a clear 12 gallon or like Ziploc bag or just like it has to be in a clear bag that's why you'll find like when you're going to go buy you know little travel size containers and stuff that they typically always come in a clear pouch because it's you know it has to be TSA approved so I keep all my makeup in here and also for those of you that don't know uh, if you don't really travel that much you probably don't know but all of your liquids have to be, I think, 3.4 fluid ounces or less. Um, so, and you'll notice that some of the items in here I had to condense because they were like four fluid ounces and in bigger bottles and you just, the TSA will basically throw it away. Um, if you have it like in your carry-on bag. Now, I always carry my makeup in my carry-on bag. I, um, and again, carry-on bag just means that you it's the bag that you carry on with you to the plane as opposed to like your check bag, which is the bag that basically you check it in when you first arrive and then they like put it under the um, put it under the plane and then, and then whenever you get to your destination, you know, your big suitcase is spinning around on the baggage claim, little circle thingy waiting for you. So um Anything that is 3.4 fluid ounces or over, you can put in your checked bag. I just, I'm so sensitive with my makeup and my beauty products that I would rather like have it with me on the plane. So I always carry my makeup in my carry-on bag as opposed to my check bag because I did that one time and it was a disaster. And when I ended up opening up my makeup items, it like I had powders that were broken and I was like, never again. So I have most of my items in there and then in this little pouch right here, I keep just a couple items as well. So, all right, so mainly everything that's in this bag right here, basically everything that I have sitting on my vanity. So if I'm traveling somewhere, I'm basically gonna use the items that I use almost on an everyday basis. It's really easy for me to pack my makeup bag because these items are already sitting there. So I can just like grab and go, grab and go, grab and go. And the way that I like to do my makeup traveling bag is I always start with the bag down like this um, because I feel like when it's up like this things tend to fall but when it's down like this you can kind of get some of your items to stand up and you can 
kind of put it in there properly. First thing that I have in here is a pair of lashes. I always carry a pair of lashes and sometimes a back of lash in here. But um, these are just the Ardell 600 lashes. These are really, really good lashes. And then I also have, um, in the back, I have my Vegas Nail Lashes as well. As far as my lip products go, I tend to basically rotate the lip color. So I always carry a nude, a nudie brownish color, um, and then like two pops of colors. The colors that I bring with me are just these colors right here. So I have this holographic lip gloss. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's just a really nice clear gloss. And then I have this color right here. This is like a orangey reddish color. This is the Stila Say All Day Liquid Lipstick in Beso. Um, I also have this Stila Stay All Day color in Rubino, which is like a brownish reddish color, which is really pretty. And then I have two nudes. I have Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Liquid Lipstick in the color Ashton, which you guys have seen me wear plenty of times. And then I also have um, Tart Tartius Lip Paint, and this is in the color Fortune, and this is going to be like a really pretty like nudish brown color One more color um and this is the fuchsia color that i was talking about but this is anastasia beverly hills liquid lipstick in the color craft then as far as the lip liners go lip liners are kind of the same way so i typically just bring like a nude in a brownish color and then maybe a little bit of a darker color i always bring my mac lip pencils with me so i have Vino, we have Subculture, we Hover, we have Mahogany, which is going to be like a brown color. So those are the colors that I feel like I can mix and match with all of my liquid lipstick colors. So those are my lip options. And I always make sure to carry a lip balm as well. And this is just the Maybelline um, lip balm. God, let's just so chop. And typically I'll carry this in like its own little pouch whenever I'm traveling because my lips get so chapped and so dry on the airplane and I'm sure you guys can relate to like the the, the dryness is real on a plane. <laughs> Next I have two blushes that I typically always bring with me um, and both of them are just going to be NARS blushes. Um, I have the NARS blush in the color Matahari which is going to be like a true pretty pink color. also have the NARS blush in the color Liberté, which you guys have seen me use both of these colors before and this one's going to be more of like a brownie like orangish coral color next i have highlighters so um the three highlighters that i bring is the monica dar highlighter which i've really really been into this this is so pretty this is in the color fantasy um it's just like a really pretty like pinkish color i don't know if you guys can see that but it's really pretty it's actually the highlighter that i'm wearing right now and then the next highlighter is gold deposit no it's not gold deposit oh darling um from mac which is just such a beautiful color and the last highlighter that i have is Lori geller's peach glow and this is a really pretty highlighter too and as far as like liquid illuminators i do bring three different liquid illuminators with me and I know for some people that may seem a little bit obsessive but I again these are just items that I feel like I would be wearing whenever I'm on vacation and I don't want to be that person that like is like oh man I feel like I should have brought that and didn't bring it. The three highlighters that I bring is I always pick up at least one of the Cover FX highlighters um i don't even know what color this is in because i like the pack i've used it so much that the packaging is worn off i always carry mac strobe cream as well and the last is nars illuminator in hot sand these are like really really great on vacation and the great thing too about bringing a liquid illuminator is that like let's say you are going somewhere hot so like for instance i went to florida which is like blazing hot and it's humid um, you don't always want to put on a powder highlight. Sometimes you just want that glow from within look and having a liquid illuminator and just kind of mixing that in with your foundation and just kind of mixing it in with your lotion really adds that really pretty like glowy look to the skin. So continuing on, I do always bring at least 
minimum two foundations, but no more than four. In this case, I actually have four, three foundations. Well, no, I actually have two foundations, a tinted moisturizer, and a foundation stick. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick. This is just actually to contour with. This is not, you know, for me to actually do my makeup, but it's really, really dark and it's really just for me to contour with. So I also bring the L'Oreal 24 hour infallible pro matte foundation. You guys know if you've been watching me for a while, you know that this is like my all time favorite foundation, hands down, one of my favorite foundations like Ever. My next foundation that I love wearing, and this is kind of like a newer one to me, but I've been wearing it for a while now, um, and it def definitely came through when I was in Florida, is the Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Foundation. Um, I really, really like this. It reminds me so much of the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation. Um, they both work the same. They're both super matte. They keep your makeup flawless. The last is I always bring some type of tinted moisturizer just because if you are going on vacation, if you're going somewhere sunny, you need to make sure that you have some type of SPF or something on your skin. Tinted moisturizer is so nice because you don't always want to cake on foundation and have heavy foundation on, especially when you're out in the sun. Um, so I have the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. And the good thing about this product right here is that it is so like, it has so much coverage in it that you can really wear this alone. Yeah, I would definitely recommend if you are going anywhere hot to definitely pick up some type of tinted moisturizer. The next item that I have is a bronzer and you guys already know my favorite bronzer, no need to explain, Bobbi Brown. Um, next I have two concealers. So I have the NARS Soft Matte Cream Concealer. And then I also have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I also have two of the MAC Paint Pots. Y'all already know what these are. Let Me Pop and Indian Wood. These sit on my vanity. These are just beautiful paint pots. So yeah, paint pots are great because you can really use them um, all over your eyes and they're simple. So always bring these. The next item that I brought with me, just in case I wanna like jazz it up a little bit, is I did bring the Sila Magnificent Metals in Kit and Karma. I always bring with me at least four eyeliners. I have a brown eyeliner. This one is just by L'Oreal. Of course, you guys know this is my favorite one. I always bring a nude eyeliner. This is NARS with Bonaparte a black eyeliner because that's like a staple. I have um, my Urban Decay Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner and this is in the color Trick. It's going to be like a really pretty like rosy golden color but I bring those just to have options. Don't forget your mascara. So the mascara that I always travel with is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Next I have a gel eyeliner and this is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner. Um, I always bring a powder with me so just like a finishing powder and this one is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil. Again you guys have seen me use this a thousand times. It's just like one of my favorite powders to bring with me. Next I have the Too Faced Glitter Glue Shadow Insurance and this is awesome especially if you're wanting to you know jazz it up one night do something a little bit different play around with your shadow. Um, I always have my eyelash glue, my brow pencil and this is the brow definer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Next is I always carry two primers with me um, and it's just really whatever primer is currently sitting on my vanity is right now I've gone back to the Tarte Clean Slate primer right here. This is my ultimate like favorite, favorite, favorite primer of all time. It just fills in your pores. It's like matte. It just makes you look flawless and seamless and it's just a very pretty primer. And then the other primer that I brought with me was my YSL um, blurring primer. Now I only ended up using this at night just because I didn't really know how it would react during the daytime which I know it's a beautiful primer but during the day I mainly ended up using the clean slate primer just because I know that that one is like a little bit thicker and just seemed more matte but overall um, feel free to bring whatever primer you guys want. I just, I absolutely love these two primers, so I brought these two with me on vacation. Um, next, I have two sprays with me. So 
Um, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Now this is in the travel size. And then this in here is actually MAC Fix Plus. Now I know that you can buy a travel size version of MAC Fix Plus, but I already have a big version of MAC Fix Plus, so I didn't want to go out and just buy a smaller version. Um, so you can get these like little clear containers from any drugstore, Walmart, Walgreens, Target. I'll just put this one in here and it worked perfectly and this is travel friendly. And the last two items that are in this pouch right here are going to be, oh sorry, last three items. So I have a pair of tweezers of course and then the last two items that I carry with me are um, that are in this clear container are going to be my eyeshadow palettes. Now, whenever you are packing your eyeshadow palette, just really think about, number one, a mirror. <laughs> because nine times out of ten, most of us aren't going to be packing our, like, vanity mirror with us. Um, I do know that there are, like, travel mirrors that you can bring with you, which I think that I want to invest in one of those because I found myself, like, having a little bit of a hard time doing my makeup and I was constantly having to like turn exactly towards the window because I love doing my makeup and natural lighting that's how I do my makeup every morning when I get ready um but you know hotels can be a little bit darker so you can get you one of those like travel size mirrors um but if you don't want to spend the money on that look at your mirrors that come in your palettes so this is one of my favorite palettes. This is the Tardis, Tardis Pro palette and it comes with a ginormous, like ginormous, I know you guys can see that, a really big mirror and it has so many colors in here too. So are great for everyday usage. Um, I can get really any look out of this. It's a great size palette to carry with you. And then the next palette that I have um, is the Lorac unzipped palette. The reason why I love this palette so much is because of the colors. I just think the colors in here are just absolutely beautiful. I love the like the rose gold and the gold and the like dark gold and I love the matte colors in here. Our Tardius Pro palette will have more of your matte shades whereas this has more shimmers but they go hand in hand. I just think they're so beautiful and like I said, most of these colors in here, if I'm going for a shimmer look, I will pick up this palette. Um, and then of course this has your mattes in it. So those are the two palettes that I would recommend bringing with you. The last like makeup item things that I have are gonna be like in this pouch right here. And in here I keep my Laura Mercier translucent powder in a separate container. So sometimes I keep it in a Ziploc bag, sometimes I keep it in here. And I don't put it in with my other makeup just because um, this has been known to like sometimes come loose, unloose a little bit. And this powder like comes unloose just a tiny bit. You'll notice that like you'll open up your makeup bag and it'll have remnants of this in there. So I tend to keep this separate. Like I said, sometimes in a Ziploc baggie, sometimes in here. Um, it just really depends. But your translucent powder, I would highly recommend keeping that in something that's separate so that it doesn't get on all of your other makeup. And the last couple items um, are going to be in here. So I have all of my makeup brushes. So basically I go through and all of the brushes that I'm currently using that are sitting on my vanity, I put those in here so I have all my eye brushes and face brushes. I don't know if anyone else does this, but as soon as I get to a hotel, you know how like hotels will have the little cups or little glasses? So they typically always have two glasses. So what I'll do is I'll take those cups, because I don't drink out of them. Um, I'll take those cups and I'll go ahead and like stack my brushes in them and put them somewhere on the table. So just like when I'm doing my makeup so I don't have to keep digging in through here. Let me know if you guys do that too. Um, or I might be the only one that sets up my makeup like that. <laughs> yeah, I just, you know, I basically violate their cups. And last but not least, I always carry my beauty blender. So I have two beauty blenders right now. Sorry if they are dirty. Like I said, I just got back from vacation. So two beauty blenders. Um, and then I always carry my beauty blender cleanser or my brush cleanser. Um, cause you want to wash your beauty blenders. So yeah, so that's really it.
for my travel makeup. All right, you guys, so that is it for my travel makeup. Now you guys see like everything that I bring with me whenever I am traveling. You really don't have to bring your entire vanity with you um, whenever you're traveling. Just bring those key pieces, those key items, those items that you use on a regular basis anyway. Um, whenever you are traveling. We'll try Sephora and um, Ulta. I know Sephora and Ulta tend to carry like travel friendly size makeup products. So for instance, you know, the Urban Decay All Nighter, that'll typically come in like a, a travel size. Um, you know, a lot of the little knickknacks and stuff that are right by the register at Sephora and Ulta are going to be travel friendly. So you know, don't sleep on those. Feel free to bring those. Um, any samples that you get, samples are typically always travel friendly. So feel free to bring those as well. Um, I know travel size mascaras are awesome, especially when you are traveling. Um, but yeah, so those are just my items that I personally bring with me. And like I said, if you guys did like this video, please feel free to give this video a like and a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys do have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Alright guys, I don't really have much else to say aside from I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Alright.